I just discovered something really, really cool. Did you know that you can use Docker to install software instead of installing it on your main machine? That's kind of interesting. That might seem kind of obvious. That's sort of the point of Docker is that you don't have to install uh, you don't have to install software on your main machine and you can just virtualize everything. I would like that's kind of the point, right? But what I have been using Docker for basically the entire time that I have known of Docker's existence is to create virtualized server environments. But on my development machine, I just got a new computer recently. And I was like, man, one of the mistakes I made on my last machine was I installed PHP and I needed a different version of PHP. And so could I just, uh, you know, could I just switch versions back and forth? And it was like really hard. You can't just switch versions of PHP. So uh, I was thinking when I got my new machine, what if I didn't install anything? I, like I didn't install Apache. I didn't install PHP. I didn't install Composer. And I just ran, whenever I wanted to run a PHP script on the command line, what if I just had a PHP Docker container that had whatever version of PHP I needed for that particular task, and I just spit, spun up that container and then did the task, and whatever the outcome was, and I haven't figured this all out quite yet, but whatever the outcome was, it would just save that on my main machine uh, in a volume or something. And then I, that kind of blew my mind. I'm like, instead of installing PHP on my new computer, why don't I just have a PHP Docker container that I use whenever I need to run a PHP script? Right? It's kind of an interesting idea. So on my new computer, I needed to install Composer so that I could uh, so that I could, you know, install some dependencies with Composer. And I decided that instead of a brand new computer doesn't have anything installed. I decided instead of installing Composer, I'll just run Composer in a Docker container, run the commands that I need in that Docker container, and then Bam. Everything is, I have all the files that I need. Um, and it worked. And I know that there's probably some downsides to this. Like, oh, I don't know. Uh, like, let's say you install a piece of software where Composer is a de dependency and it assumes that you have Composer installed and it uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work. But those like, those multi, multi dependent pieces of, of software, I would want to create my own Docker container that has all those softwares installed anyways. Um, I use a lot of PHP, I use a lot of Composer, obviously NPM, you know, th those kinds of things. But if I have a Docker container that does all of the stuff that I would have installed on my main machine anyway, if I need a different version of PHP or whatever it is, all I have to do is change the Docker Compose file. And it, uh, it's like I have something completely different installed. And just instead of using my main machine as the the place where all that stuff happens I just create a docker compose file that has everything that I need it's an interesting idea
I, I never thought of doing that before. So I'm still kind of relatively new to Docker, quote unquote. I, I mean, I know how to use Docker on the command line, images, containers, blah, blah, blah. I get all of that stuff. Um, I know, you know, how to build a Docker compose file, but the amount of usefulness that I'm, I'm coming to find out is available by using Docker for things um, is something that's kind of a new concept to me. I, I always thought, okay, this Docker file is a project. But like even in the project, um, I would find myself using Composer on my main machine to do uh, things in the project. And I'm like, there's Composer. I could just ins install Composer in the environment. Or I could have a separate environment completely that utilizes Composer and PHP. That way I have a complete control of my environment. And I think that's like the point of Docker is to be able to have complete control over your environment, which is is huge. It's a really big deal. Anyways, so those are my random thoughts for the mo morning. I, uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in to watch me ramble about stuff that I think is interesting. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, uh, if you leave a comment, I will reply to your comments. I'm actually, um, I don't know too many people who know about software de development, so I, um, I, I want to try and grow that base of people that I know. So leave a comment, reach out to me, so you know we can see if we hit it off or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this content, please uh, tune in tomorrow. And I will have more videos up for you. So I appreciate you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Or talk to you tomorrow. Bye.